Hi everyone, welcome back to Build a CMS with Symphony 2. In this lesson, we'll start off by installing and configuring Symphony 2, as well as creating our vendor and bundle to hold our application code that we'll be writing through this course. And we'll also generate the database that we'll be needing to use. So let's switch into our terminal or command line, and let's change directories into the directory that you'd like to store your web apps in. So I'm going to CD into sites, and let's run Composer to create our Symphony 2 project. Composer, create hyphen project, symphony forward slash framework hyphen standard hyphen edition, and then we'll name our project. I'm just going to call it CMS, and then our version of 2.5. Now we'll just work our way through the install wizard. I'm going to enter N to not install the Acme demo bundle. And next is our database information. You're going to want to pick your own credentials here. I'm going to be using the default of MySQL. So I'll just hit enter three times to take all of the defaults. And then I'll enter in CMS as my database name. You can choose whatever name you'd like. And then I'll just take the rest of the defaults here as well, just by hitting enter. Now we need to enter in our secret token. So I'm just going to type in a bunch of random characters for it. And then lastly, to complete our install, let's hit enter three more times. One, two, three, and we're done. Now we'll check that our application's ready to go. First, change directories into the CMS project. And we can run php app slash check.php. And I am green. If you're green, you're also ready to go. Let's now have Symfony generate our database by running the following command, php app slash console doctrine colon database colon create. And great, we now have our database of CMS and our connection's been set up. Now let's generate our vendor and our bundle to hold our code for our CMS. Let's run php app slash console generate colon bundle hyphen hyphen namespace equals and then we'll set our vendor name i'm just going to pick custom as my vendor name and then a forward slash and my bundle will be named cms bundle and that's in all caps for cms then we'll put a space and we'll set the format to use yaml let's run this and now we can just hit enter six times to take all of the bundle defaults one two three four, five, and six, and perfect. Symphony 2 is installed, configured, and we have our database as well as our vendor and our bundle. Let's run the server to make sure everything's good to go. We'll run php app slash console server colon run. There we go. So now our app should be available at localhost port 8000. Let's switch into the browser and make sure that it works. Here I am in Firefox. And we can visit localhost port 8000 slash hello slash and then a name. I'll just use mine of Andrew. And great, here's our generated bundles example page saying hello Andrew. And our application is all set up. So next time on Build a CMS with Symphony 2, we're going to cover some other application and layout setup for our CMS. I'll see you there, and thanks for watching.